We're here at Durf Electronics in Poughkeepsie, New York. Durf sells excess inventory from the electronics industry, and we're here to learn what they do to mitigate counterfeit components. Durf is a excess inventory specialist. We act as like a normal distribution. However, our material comes from you know, tier one or large contract manufacturers or anywhere that they have over speculated on how much they should buy. Typically, it comes in, we inspect it, we check it in, we count it, we inventory it. There are some things that we will target market, meaning you know we will take an RF connector and match it up with customers that we know are purchasing RF connectors. And we'll say, hey, listen, we got this in. This particular part we're looking at here is an NXP part marked on the exterior of the part as NXP. We do know that NXP took over, so thereby the die is marked with Phillips. However, these parts were rejected simply because we, we could tell that the leads had been recoded. Um, they're not necessarily counterfeit, but they are not going into the supply chain. So this is a, a fancy X-ray machine. Uh, it has the ability, it has software that looks for anomalies as it runs, and it will do them frame by frame. On the non-conforming chip, there are no machining marks or uh, you don't see any shear marks. Whereas here, you see when in the process of, of forming the leads, the, the uh, machine touches here and up here, leaving a flat, smooth area. And then it also shears at the end of the leads, exposing copper and the, in, the insides of, of the leads. Whereas here, it is smooth, there are no shiny spots, you don't see any machine marks. Um, you know, so clearly it's been sprayed with some unknown substance. Could be solder, it could be silver spray paint. We don't know. But this is non conforming. What we're illustrating here is the, uh, this is also another manner of what we as the industry call black topping. With the naked eye, that all looks uniform and beautiful. Once you put contrasting light and magnification to it, you begin to see there's a hard edge between the top, which has been resurfaced, and then what the original part was, again, to disguise what the original authentic part was in order to mark it as something different is why they, this has been done. You could have one chip that is made by one manufacturer, whereas this other manufacturer who makes a similar chip that looks the same has a higher value. So let's mark it as this one over here in order to get more money. For instance, if you were, you were remarking something because it's too old, for normal manufacturers to buy. If they have a, say a 12 week or 18 week date code restriction or two years, and you have parts that were manufactured in 2010, they won't be, you can't sell them. So if you remark them, at least then you're selling them and you're getting something for that lot. With electronic components ranging from computers to coffee machines, counterfeits happen. It was interesting to gain insight on how DERF stops counterfeits from reaching the supply chain. 